Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this green and black water marble and there is a little bit of hollow in there too. So if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. First things first, starting out with a base coat, I'm going to be using Ready for Takeoff. And of course you can use whichever base coat is your personal favorite. The polishes that I'm going to be using today are all from Color Club. This is Till the Record Stops, and that's also going to be my base color. This hollow is just my luck, and it is actually a light green hollow. Probably just looks sparkly and awesome on camera. And then I'm also going to be using Color Club Black. going to start building my bullseye and as usual I'm working in a five ounce cup of room temperature filtered water. The design that I'm doing today is very similar to the design that I just did on my mom's nails other than obviously using different colors but I really liked the way that it turned out and was kind of disappointed that on her short nails I wasn't able to get more of the cool parts of the design. So I'm going to start out just going up to the top and then down to the bottom and then drawing in from side to side some chevrons. And this will also kind of show you guys the difference between a design on short nails and on long nails. Of course it also all depends on where you dip your nails and my mom said she felt like she had a little bit of trouble actually dipping where she really wanted to aim but that all just comes down to practice and I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a wavy line here I'm really going to exaggerate the waves to get more of a unique design in there and you could also do more than three strokes of waves if you wanted. I think three is enough. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and once again attempt to dip three nails at a time. I think I have enough design this time. Unlike with the uh, coral and teal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I'm just going to line up here and carefully dip. Then I'm going to reach in with my orange stick to clear off that polish. Make sure you get all sides of the cup and once the surface is cleared off I'm just going to go ahead and slowly pull out and there's the water marble. So, zoom in here. I have been trying to kind of do more complete videos because otherwise I end up with questions of, well, do you use a base coat when you water marble or do you use a top coat when you water marble? So I've been trying to show all the steps. Although I usually leave out applying the latex because I don't think that's super interesting. But I'm just going to go ahead and finish cleaning up here. Then I'll be topping everything off with sesh feet. Here is the finished manicure and I think this is my favorite so far this month. I do like my right hand a little bit better than my left um, just because the lines came out a little bit cleaner on these two nails especially. I had a little bit of bleeding of the hollow into the black. I think the thumbs turned out really cool too. And just to give you guys a 
a look at a couple of my test swatches. I tested kind of different base colors as well as slightly different drip patterns. And this one is uh, a white background and with the colors just dripped consecutively. This one is a black background and with the other two colors in between the black, mostly black. Then I did the green background with the other two colors in between the green, mostly green, and hollow background with mostly hollow and the other two in between that. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I ended up doing was this drip pattern with this background color. So when you are testing, you know, it's not even necessarily one test that you end up going with, but you might pull elements from a couple different ones. So I think this could also work for St. Patrick's Day since it is green, even though it's not, you know, in your face St. Patrick's Day. And I am going to try and do at least one, possibly two more St. Patrick's Day, if that's a word, designs. Um, like with the four leaf clover theme. Uh, but first, before that, I'll have to do Fan Choice Friday, and I still haven't decided which one I'm doing this week, so I really need to buckle down and do some testing. But let me know what you think of this design, if it's your favorite this month so far also, or if not, which one was your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.